This is the first tutorial on plant layout and plant design using Key Creator Drafting. In this tutorial, I'll explain the general concepts and approaches used for this small manufacturing facility. Also, how to interrogate and navigate the design, and how to set up for additional designs for other facilities, buildings, and maybe specific plant areas. For this particular project, I ended up using standard 2D geometry creation and detailing functions. I also used our mechanical elements which gave me the structural shapes for the I-beams and I pulled information in from a library that I created uh, which contained standard 2D symbols, uh, 2D uh, representations of equipment, machinery, etc. I also used a schematic approach for uh, identifying resource items. Those things would be like pneumatic lines, electrical lines, and water. Uh, there was really no need for the full details such as pipes, elbows, and the conduits. That's something that you could do on a different project or for elevation drawings. Let's take a quick tour and let's zoom in into this lower left hand corner. You can learn a lot just from the design just by hovering the cursor over various pieces of geometry. The tooltip will tell you exactly what it is in this case the cross hatching from the detailing functions, dimensions, balloons, etc. I also was able to create my own library, in this case something called the compass that I created and stored away. Here's another example of a file I cr created. And here you can see the standard symbols that I was able to find on the internet save off as library components. Let's go ahead and continue on. Again, more symbols, standard industrial symbols. As far as the resources go, uh, they were color-coded and if you notice the tooltip tells me what the by the name tells me what that particular line represents, in this case 110 voltages. Over here we have a pneumatic line and of course our mechanical elements of the structural shape I-beam. Let's continue on. Again, just by hovering the tooltip over I can find out what it is I'm looking at. By using the shift key and hovering over a piece of equipment I can quickly highlight that entire file. And using the context menu, zoom right to that specific piece of equipment. You also have access to any information or any additional information the user may have applied there. For example, formatting it, you can get to the standard properties. In this case, this happens to be an asset number in a description of the piece of equipment. User properties are just that. User defines them. This could be anything you want. In this case could be connections for that particular machine. Let's go ahead and zoom out using the context menu. So you saw how quickly it is to gather information just by hovering your cursor over the geometry on the screen. Another way of accessing geometry is using the splitter window to access the level tree. You can see you can organize your geometry any way you want, turning large groups of that information on and off on the screen. You can obviously add more if you want to, reorganize it if need be, and here you can also go ahead and turn off individual components as needed. Now let's take a look at another method of accessing and organizing your work, something called snapshot. In snapshot you can go ahead and save your current zoom, view, in the current levels that are turned on and if you needed to you could also save your active level. This of course can be added at any time during the process. Let's go ahead and load some uh, existing snapshots. Let's go with cell number one. The snapshot for cell number one turned on some specific levels that I wanted and takes me right to that cell. Same thing for cell number two. 
Notice that the levels are turned on and off. And I can always add additional levels if I need them to be displayed. Let's go back. Now maybe I want to look at all, all the resources. In this case, I wanted it all zoomed in and it has nothing but my resources. And then finally, I can always go back to my all. Another useful tool is the template. When starting a new project, you can select a custom template to help you speed the process along. You can see this template opened up with my level structure already predefined with or without geometry in it. And go ahead and turn on or off any special geometry that maybe I want as starter geometry. Another thing you can do with this template is predefine your style editor or how you want to see your dimensions. In this particular case, I want to make sure that all my dimensions here are measured in feet since I'm doing a plant design. You can go ahead and set all your dimensions the way you want, save them in the template, and that is your default. Finally, remember the snapshots. You can go ahead and predefine some snapshots based on the level structure you already have. These can be saved with your template file, and that's, of course, more can be added or subtracted as necessary. This completes the first Key Creator Drafting Plant Layout tutorial. Make sure to watch the second tutorial where we discuss how to use these functions and show you a few more capabilities.